Hi and welcome to Supreme Gadgets, a brand new YouTube channel dedicated to all things computing, video games and of course gadget related. To start with though we're going to have a look at an old computer from the early 90s. This is an AMD 386 computer. It was given to us in 2001 to see if there's any parts we could use on it. There wasn't, so instead what we did was took the components and displayed it on this board in our little computer room at the time. Here we have the motherboard of the computer. Uh, it's a 386 computer, so here's the 386 processor, an AMD 386 40 megahertz processor. You could, however, fit a 486 processor to this board, but obviously none was actually fitted to this particular computer. Over here we have the RAM, 8 megabytes in total, split up into 1 megabyte modules. We have here the ISA slots for expansion cards and just one single port on the outside for the keyboard. All of the ports came on this input output board or companion card, whatever you want to call it. It's got the parallel port, the serial port and slots for the floppy drive, hard drive and if you had a CD-ROM drive as well. Obviously you use the parallel ports for printers, serial ports for mice or if you posh a modem. Obviously another vital component of the computer was the graphics card. This is a Realtek graphics card, 512 kilobytes of RAM and obviously a common sight even on the modern graphics cards, a VGA port. What was quite luxurious back in those days was this sound card though. It's a creative sound blaster, obviously still a common make these days. And this has the joystick port, sound, uh, sorry, speaker ports, line input, and volume controls on there as well. And that's what the board looked like. We have, of course, the hard drive as well. This is a three and a half inch IDE hard drive, fairly common style to what they are today. But this was only 171 megabytes, and that was compressed space as well. Even the smallest USB pen drives have about 10 times as much storage as that these days. We have an IDE ribbon cable here, which obviously connects the uh, hard drive to the companion or input-output board there, so it can be used. Then we have a little display panel here. This is actually just the back of the display panel, just showing the circuitry. But on the front of the display, obviously, it displayed the computer's speed. We have a little uh, speaker here that just generates the beep. So when the computer starts, it went beep, as a lot of computers do these days as well. So that is a quick look at the old computer, the old 386 computer. Hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll be back very soon with some more videos. So bye for now.